What's going on guys and welcome to another video on the channel and today I'm going to be giving you guys five tips on how to improve your gameplay and get you more wins in foot champs. Now these five tips here are things that I use to help me get the maximum wins I can get in the weekend league and it's just also five things that I refer to when I get into any sort of slump or anything like that but uh, let's just hop right into it and uh, make sure to see all five tips because they're all very crucial to help you get that one or two more wins that you need. And don't forget to like and subscribe, but let's hop into it. Tip number one, offensive patience. So you're going to see in this clip here that I'm knocking the ball around primarily with my center mids, trying to feed the ball into one of my strikers or both of your strikers, depending on what formation you play, if it's one striker or two strikers. But I'm also trying to drag out their center defensive mids. That way I can open more of a gap for my strikers or striker. That way I can isolate my striker to create a 1v1 chance or just a clear cut chance to get a good shot on goal and hopefully score. In the build of play, your best friends are gonna be your center mids and your wingers. Because as you're gonna see here, I'm not gonna use much of my strikers just yet until I reach that top of the box sort of area. And what I'm really trying to do here is drag his defenders out and he's using his center backs, which is not a good idea because then I can find the space in the middle like that and get a decent shot on goal. That was not a decent shot, but you could get a better one, I'm sure, when you guys play. But that's really the main goal, which is to try and spread the guy out drag his defenders out to isolate my forwards or get some kind of cutting in run, as you saw there from Robin, to get a good shot on goal. And that all comes with being patient. Tip number two, completing passes. Now this sort of goes hand in hand with tip number one, but it has sort of a bit of a different focus. So I've been watching a lot of the pros lately and I've been realizing that they've been talking a lot about completing their passes or saying that their pass accuracy was not good enough that game. And I realized why that is so important. Because when you're in the build a player around top box, you really want to complete your passes, be patient, keep possession to carve out either a goal, hopefully, or at least a shot for a corner. For example, you probably just work so hard to win possession back and you're going to get the ball and take those 50-50 pass options and give the ball away carelessly and now you got to win it back again. So why this is a really good tip to use is because when you complete your passes, you sort of frustrate your opponent. For them to drag out either their center mids or hopefully their center backs and you chip one in behind so um it's really important to complete your passes and to stay patient with the ball keep possession don't take those 50 50 option passes because there's no need obviously depending on your game situation if you're down by one down by two hopefully not down by three you probably got to force the issue a bit but if not relax keep the ball carve out a goal carve out a shot at least and complete the passes tip number three defending from the front. And what I mean by this is utilizing all the players you have on the field to defend. For example, when the guy's knocking the ball in front of you and he's just being patient with it, don't pull out your center mids, don't pull out your center backs, pull back your strikers, pull in your wingers, defend from there, pull more pressure in, clog up that space, and eventually he's gonna force it, he's gonna mess up a pass and you'll take it and then that's when you possess, you take over the game. So uh, I know sometimes it might be hard to pull in your strikers, pull in your wingers because they might be sort of just go kind of guy, counter attack, go. Use your CDMs then, do not play your center backs. Your center backs are your last resort for that last ditch tackle or whatever. Use your center mids, outside backs if you have to, do not pull out your center backs because it just leaves space in behind, they chip it in, game over. Tip number four, setting up your tactics. Now this is extremely important for the weekend league because if you don't set up your tactics, your players aren't playing the way you want them to play or in what position you might want them to play. So when you set up your tactics, if you don't know what it is, you can go in game and click left or right on the D-pad and you can change your mentality from ultra attacking, attacking, defensive or ultra defensive, customized to how you like it. So uh, here you're gonna see all four different categories. I mainly use attacking to start the game, my 4-4-2, ultra attacking when I wanna get that goal, as you see I have constant pressure on and all that. But I mainly use attacking for when I start in the game. This is not a tactics video, but here are my tactics. And also, as you see on my base team picture, for Cam, I have Mbappe and Rashford center mids, but in game, I change them. Change all the positions, actually. Firmino is not my striker, he's my center mid. And that's what tactics is really good for. You can change your player's position in game because you might have him in a certain spot in your team just for Cam. And also, you can change the instructions here. I'm sure most of you guys know what this is, so I'm not going to get too much into it. But set up your tactics. If you're down 1 0 at the 90th minute, you need to get that last goal. Set up your ultra attacking. You're up 1-0, 80th minute, you want to defend, set up your ultra defensive, set it all up. That way you have it in game. No need to worry about it, pause and switch. Just set up your tactics. It's way easier. Change formation if you want, whatever you think is best, experiment with this stuff. And finally, tip number five, game spacing. So obviously there's 30 games in the weekend league, if you didn't know. Um, 
a couple years ago, I was actually 40. Thank God it's 30 because I can barely even play 30. So uh, what I do is I play 10 on Friday, uh, 10 on Saturday, and 10 on Sunday. So for you guys, I recommend you do something like that or set it up how you like it, but do not play 16 in one day unless you're really good. You probably shouldn't be watching this video. Don't play. try and play all 30 in one day, I guess, unless you have to, but do not try it because you'll get drained. You lose a game, take a bit of a break because who isn't frustrated after they lose, especially if it's after some BS. So really, space out your games, you know? Take a break, go for a walk if you're pissed off, or go eat something, but really space out your games. That way you can get the best performance out of each of your games, feel refreshed, keep possession, stay patient offensively, defensively, set up your tactics, and get more wins a weekend, boys. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and take care, guys.